Yo! Yo! What's up? This is Patrick. This is Justina. I'm Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about anomaly detection and a little sneak peek into what's coming next. Stay tuned. Do -do 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 -do. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy, Justina. How are you today? I'm doing great, Patrick. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm always doing great. And you're not in America right now. You're somewhere else, right? That is right. I am now in Poland. I'm working from here for a Wow. Month. Thank you so much for joining us. So I have been consumed with AI visuals and I got to tell you, whew, there's a lot of stuff going on with these AI visuals and you and I connected the other day and you were telling me about some neat stuff that's coming out and we were talking about anomaly detection and it was like, let's just do a video on it. And I can't believe it's happening so fast, but here we are, right? I know, I know. I was just like, yeah, let's let's do it. And you're like, well, when, when are you for me? I'm like, now and the day later we're doing the video. It's great. <laughs> let's Let's do it. So this anomaly detection, it can enhance my line charts and it tells me about all this great stuff that's happening in my data with just a few clicks. It just uncovers these insights. Yeah, absolutely. So we've done a bunch of work. We've integrated with some amazing tech from the Azure AI team. You might have seen the Cognitive Service Outlier API. And so we took all the amazing tech, we integrated it directly into Power BI, introducing a new type of AI enrichment. Before we've done a lot of AI visualizations, this is one of the first times where we've done an AI enrichment where you can just add a line chart to the page and apply this AI on top of it to just automatically detect anomalies for you. Wow, okay, okay. So Justine, are you ready to show us something? Are you ready to show yeah, us something? Yeah, I would love to, would love to show you how, uh, what it's all about. Let's do it. All right, okay guys. So you guys know how I like to do enough of all this talking. Let's head over to Justina's laptop. All right, so over here, we are in Power BI Desktop. And so we have a report that's doing some manufacturing analysis. You can see things like defect quantities, downtime. And so we've got our line chart over here. And so in order for me to actually add anomaly detection to this line chart, it is super simple for me to do that. All I'm gonna do is jump into this data drill tab over here and you can see this new AI enrichment section um, which has find anomalies in it so I'm going to go ahead and select that and now it's a little bit hard to see because uh, I have a pretty dark background so let's actually customize these anomalies a little bit you can see that this actually opened up the analytics pane for me over here and so we're going to jump into this section of find anomalies and the first thing I'm actually going to do is change this anomaly color so you can see this a little bit better on the all right so now we can see that there have been a number of anomalies that have been found for our defect quantities. And this is a fully interactive experience, right? So if I go and let's say just want to look at my logistics products over here, all of my data reruns and we can see that the anomalies have been uh, rerun as well for packaging and so on. So we just uh, automatically run this anomaly detection on top of the line chart as you slice and dice your data. It's nothing special about this, right? So it's just like any other visual. It'll automatically cross highlight and cross filter. If I have slices, if I have filters on the page, it'll rerun all that fancy AI stuff behind the scenes and give us our anomalies, right? I don't need to do anything. Yeah, absolutely. As yeah. soon as you apply it and, uh, and add it to the line chart, it just behaves like any other visual that you have. You're absolutely right. I would say this is some next level stuff here, man. This is next level. I might be a little bit biased, but I'm pretty excited about this capability. <laughs> um, <laughs> and there's a lot of, you know, enrichments that you can do on, or, or formatting that you can do with this. If I want I don't have to change, let's say, the, uh, you know, the shape of these anomalies, the colors, the size, I've got all of that here. I can even tweak some of the parameters of the algorithm itself. So if let's say I want to be, uh, you know, a little bit less sensitive with it, I can do that and that makes some of these anomalies disappear. But th there's actually more to this than just uh, these anomalies appearing on the page. Maybe I'm one of the few people uh -huh. that read the documentation, but <laughs> I was reading the documentation and it said it provides explanations of the anomalies so that we can, you know, help identify the root cause. Is that true? Does it do it right in the report? Yes. Absolutely. So it does more than just you know show these anomalies on the chart. Uh, let's say we see this recent you know uh, anomaly in defect quantities that happened pretty recently, just like a, a couple of weeks ago. You know, all you have to do is just click on this uh, anomaly over here. We automatically run run uh, some analysis. And we can find, uh, we give you a, a narrative explanation that says, hey, you know, this was an expectedly high, 
This was the value we expected to be in this range. And by the way, here's some possible factors that could be contributing uh, to this anomaly. So for example, we can see that it seems to be associated with batteries. And I can just actually open this up and, and see more details and see the actual chart comparing my defects for batteries to defects overall and kind of seeing the spike correlated between the two. Wow, that I have to say that is pretty impressive. I think it's gonna get the insane amazing tag, Justina. It's pretty nice. So all built in, all in the desktop. I don't need to enable any type of Azure ML. I don't need to be a data scientist. It just works for me. And that I think that's why it's getting the insane amazing tag. It, it just works. You also mentioned that we were chatting, you're gonna give us a sneak peek into what's coming next with all this, these AI infused visual and Power BI. Tell us more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we have these uh, awesome capabilities like this, you know, built-in anomaly detection, which you can go and try out today. Uh, we have our smart narratives, we have things like key influencers, decomposition tree. So our next step is really to start combining all of these capabilities and thinking about how we can provide them to uh, end users directly rather than having it something that a creator has to create through something like desktop. So if I go ahead and jump into uh, the service over here, you can see I've got the same report. I do not have my anomaly detection enabled here. I don't see any anomalies. But you see I've got this Get Insights button that is uh, over here at the top. So if I go and click on Get Insights, uh, this automatically scans the report page and finds me all of the interesting things that are going on in the page without anyone having to set anything up at all. But we can hover over this, we can see the chart that it's to do with, and we can see there's a recent uh, anomaly found in our defect quantities. And if I jump into this, we can actually see that the same chart, the same anomalies have been found, and the same explanations are appearing here. But this time, no one had to set this up, and anyone can just go and get insights about all the different visuals throughout the reports. Wow. Now, the AI is right at my fingertips. I don't, I, I'm not a data scientist. I don't write machine learning, but somebody creates a report, not Adam. Adam's not going to create a report. He <laughs> is one of the worst report creators I ever met in my life, uh, besides myself, right? We would get somebody who really knows how to do it. And now I can go and find all the things that's bad in my data with just a few clicks of the button or, you know, the things that, you know, can help me give more insights. Yeah, it could, it could be good. You might have an amazing upward trend, yeah. right? Yeah. Or spike in your revenue, yeah. but this will just help you answer the next why question of why is this happening right. and, you know we just want to make right. that whole process a lot simpler for users that's awesome. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, Justina, you okay. just showed that this insane amazing thing. Now I have to ask <laughs> the obvious question. When can I get mm -hmm. my hands on it? Yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be releasing this in public preview in a couple of months. I'm not going to give them a very precise ETA yet, but it's going to be coming uh, for sure this calendar year. So, yeah, nice. <laughs> so I would love to know what you think about the new anomaly detection feature as well as the automated insights coming soon. Please make sure you leave some comments below and tell me what you think. If this is the first time you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam, Patrick, and this gal, we'll see you in the next video.